Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Golftopia, where uh, in the last episode we got a good little five uh, hole set up and running. Looks great, doesn't it? I really, really think the game looks fantastic. And uh, and today I did say that we were gonna we were gonna have a go at some of the uh, the wackier elements of the game. Like I say, this isn't just a golf uh, course simulator. Uh, there is this sort of sci-fi element to it as well, and sort of crazy ways of setting up golf uh, courses and things like that. So that's what we're gonna have a look at today. Uh, we're gonna open up this area here and sort of loop around almost. So we'll have a um, uh, a T that comes off here and goes across and down, all right? So I've left the game running for a little while, so we've got a little bit of cash coming in. We can upgrade our clubhouse, apparently. Let's have a look. Uh, oh, there we go. That's happened. Uh, we can now build up to nine holes. Members are really picky and will complain often. Oh, uh, expand slowly and with caution. Read your golfer's thoughts and try to bring up all of your holes into a positive rating. We've unlocked billboards. Income based on how many golfers are nearby and how happy they are. Okay, so it's like an advertising thing. Okay, and the Harvard rentals, golfers can rent Harvard boards, just making navigating the course a little less painful. We'll actually remember these boards don't work on boards, so boards will automatically return to when the golfer leaves. Okay, okay, so let's pause the game and uh, let's unlock a new bit of uh, land. Uh, this bit here. Okay, now we do have some weeds that are a bit of an issue here, look, growing out. So we are going to have to come and do something about them. We have a de-weed bomb that we can sort of come down and pay to kill some of these weeds off. So we can't, we can't afford to do all of them that way. So we are going to have to get some, some little dronies out here to clean up as well. So where are they? Golf structures? No, they're probably not. Are they public buildings? Uh, utility buildings, drone hub. So drones will resupply your various devices and machines as well as destroy weeds. Uh, they destroy it. Those turrets have a long range and no keep cost, making them ideal to keep weeds out of populated areas. Ammo, however, does cost. They will recharge a few uh, every time a worker has to rearm. And a lawn mortar, they don't like being close to it. A lawn mortar can fire weed burning chemical shells anywhere on the island. Weave hives will be prioritized over lesser weeds. The lawnmower has no daily upkeep cost, but the shells do have a cost. So, that's expensive and we can't afford it, so we won't worry about that. We could put one of these down. So we've got, let's have a look. Is there like a weed overlay? There is, isn't there? There we go. Okay, so laser turret. We could probably put one of those here. Is it going to get started on weeds? Yes, look at that. Okay. And he'll he's going to fill that up, is he? Okay, but otherwise, doing a sound job. And now can we move it? Or just refund it. We lose a little bit of money by not refund by refunding it, but I think that's probably the best way to do it to start off with, right? Let's put one down here and one over here. And one more just on the water there. And that should be pretty solid uh, amount of weed cleaning. Are these drones coming to clear out a few weeds as well? It was Ganu, I think. So you're not doing anything now, so you can go and you're not doing anything there so you can go and you're not doing anything there so you can go okay so weeds let's have a look there we go got to clear that area out of weeds and I, I feel like at the moment the drones are keeping on top of weeds in the uh in the sort of areas we're using so that seems okay okay next up then let's head to uh demolish Demolish all of this. It doesn't actually cost anything to do, but I like to put down my own nature so we can really see what's going on. All right. And there's one little bush there. Look. There we go. So the next thing I want to do before we really get started is put in one of these uh, so that we can start moving people over here because at some point they're going to have to get across this water, right? Um, what's rotating? Is it? Ah, oh, there we go. So, 
Give you up to there. Um, yeah, bring you... Let's think. We're going to have a course here. One. I want one that goes over the water. Like, so they're going to have to use these tunnels for it, right? And then we can bring in here... Yeah. Okay, so I have a long one here, and then a short one that goes over water here. And then eventually we can carry on down this way. But for now, they can come back and, and head home. Okay, that, that's how I think we're going to play it. So, let's get a T down then. Uh, here. I don't think it matters particularly which way it's going, but they're going to start from here. And they're going to T. Oh, no, no, sorry. They're going to hold. It's going to be right down here. Yes, there we go. Nice, nice straight one because we're just kind of having some ideas with these. So we've got windmill, a variable speed fan that can be used to blow an airborne golf ball in a particular direction. A ball launcher. Golfers will tend to shoot towards this structure if within their shot path. Golf balls will land on the launcher and be blasted upwards. Um... Golfers will tend to shoot towards the structure if it's in their path. The golf balls can touch the hyper bumper, violently blast away. Hitting multiple bumpers in a single shot can increase a golfer's mood. Okay. Angled bumper. Mega wickets. What's that? Golfer can shoot their ball through the mega wicket. Their mood will increase based on the distance traveled. Lower wickets are more exciting than higher ones. Mega wickets can be useful to help shape the path of your golfers. So if we put one of these down here... Yes, so you want to go through there. And maybe they want to go through a ring of fire as well. Crazy devices. Let's learn about these. Make sure we're doing them right. So you can't read this, but I'll read it for you. Uh, there are special devices such as fans, bumpers, launchers, and teleporters that you can add to your golf course. So there's a big bumper there. Look, that's good. Or through the ring of fire, onto the bouncer there. Keeping it away from hazardous area. Device placement can make uh, or break holes. It's used places creatively. Most golf courses are uh, most crazy devices attracted golfers, meaning they will tend to shoot toward them if they were in their shot path. Keep in mind that golfers are not mathematicians. They will do their best to shoot logically, but their ability to predict the outcome of every shot is limited. If a fan blows the ball off course or into another group of unsuspected golfers, it's up to you to make adjustments. Okay. So I feel like they're, they're, there's one they're going to aim towards, and that's fine. It doesn't look like they're currently going to aim towards there, so the Ring of Fire. Maybe the Ring of Fire should be more central. Can we move? Doesn't see like as far as I can tell, there doesn't seem to be a move feature. So let's do Ring of Fire. Let's do it right down the middle here. Okay, so right down here, the middle. They want to hit it through there. And when they hit it through there, it's going to land on a ball launcher. And it's going to bump the ball over to here. And then from here, they can aim to get it through here if they want to. And then onto the green. Should we try that? This is all very new, so I'm, you know, I'm unsure a little bit of how this is going to work. But we'll go a nice big green. Um, and then the fairway can start behind this uh, this ring of fire. You've basically got to get it through the ring of fire here. That's all we're really interested in. Yes, there we go. Okay, I'm give people lots of options to go around that if they want to. And then we'll do some sand trap. Now, remind me how we make stuff bigger and smaller. There we go. So, if you mess up here, you're going in the sand. If you mess up here, if you miss, you're going in the sand as well. 
and also here. Like I'm evil. <laughs> okay, cool. And uh, we've got enough money for a bit of cash as well. So let's do some trees. Uh, yeah, this is gonna sort of force people to have to go that way. Well, that might be a, well, I might be making it a little tricky, but that's okay. That's fun. Maybe keep the maybe keep the trees away a little from the ring of fire. Oh, let's throw some palms in. Oh, we can't. The structure in the way. Oh, we've already got trees there. Okay, uh, and then a few at the back. Palms or not? Okay, that looks like a fun par five to me. Let's have a look. Par seven. Okay. Par seven's a bit intense. Cra it's a high crazy one. Low beauty, low, low lighting. Yeah, we always forget lighting, don't we? Well, I do. So that's on public buildings. Utility, no. Yes, light, there we go. I really like this song, by the way. The music's really good fun in this. There we go, that should be enough for light. Let's have a look. Lighting is still very low. Maybe I'll catch up once it's night time. Uh, medium, medium challenge, there we go, lighting very high. Beauty is very low still. Let's see if we can increase the beauty a little with some Right, can make golfers feel a bit happier when seen. Golfers will see this as a challenge. We're making shots as well. There we go. Build some rocks here. It's where in spots where it doesn't really seem to affect the thing, you know. There we go. There's some rocks in there. Let's increase the beauty still to very low. I suppose it's things like uh, like decorations here is it's what it's really looking for to make it beautiful. Should we have them walk through a flare arch to get here or something? I'll just have a I'll just have a nice garden by the Yeah, let's have a little a little area here. We put that there and there we go. And then if we put, they like that, they like that, they wolf whistled it. And then we make a large path here. Yeah, there we go. And then we bring this down. Ah, have I turned that on? Oh, there we go. Uh, let's just go back to grass for a minute. And shrink this area down a little. There we go. And shrink this down a little onto here. Right. And then at the moment, that's the end. But the idea will be that the next one's going to start here and go over the water. But okay, let's um, let's do the old test run. So most of them are getting through the through the ring of fire, which is good. Quite a few going into the bunker here. Maybe that needs to be cut toned down a little. Okay, so all of them completed. Nobody failed. Best score was four, and the worst score was seven. Okay, so we, so even though it says par seven there, the very worst possible option was par seven. The only thing I might do is maybe just be a little bit more generous with the with the freeway there. And a smooth line on that. Uh, and here as well, it's not very smooth, is it? Look at that, there we go. And there. Okay, 
just to help people out a little. There we go. I'm going to open that. That's a shape it's shot path. This goggles must shoot through the checkpoint. No, I'm not worried about that. T6. Earning awards. Uh, if a hole is high enough raised, it may be eligible to win a themed award. Uh, these are only awarded one per theme, so try to spread out the rendering holes and consider building each new hole with a theme in mind uh, in hopes of earning that particular award. Awards are not permanent. If a hole with an award drops its rating or no longer applies, the award will be revoked. Golf uh, enjoying playing on holes with awards is wise to try and keep all the awards possible. You can see a list of available awards on the sub menu. Okay, well, they're off. Let's see how they're getting on. Okay, that was pretty good. They've all got on the green. Did not get through the ring of fire, but made it to the freeway, so that's okay. Oh, love that was lovely shot. Nolan, GG. There we go. Veronica, nice onto the green. Oh, unfortunate. Nice one, Dallas. You gotta be happy about that, Dallas. That sand shot looks hard. That crazy gadget looks fun. This hole is great variety, very different from the last hole. I have fun playing a round of golf today. People loving the whole six. Rating is increasing. It's gone down from four to two. Huh? But Nolan and Grady, their membership. People are loving the wacky stuff, eh? So maybe maybe this next one we try something a little wackier. We maybe come over to here and then over to here and do some bum 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 bumbers up onto the green or something. There we go. We've got a bit of cash. We've probably got enough cash to do a little bit of uh, something here. So let's just get rid of all of this. Uh, and it was warning about weeds. Let's just check. I don't think... I oh, see over here... There are crazy weeds growing. There's a cluster. A crazy weed cluster there. And we can only do it on property we own. There it is, luck. Oh, no. Haha! -ha! Okay, we're gonna have to really think about that when we move into the next area. But but where we where we have people, it's all lovely and nice. Oh, there's a few little weedies here. Okay. So let's go for a golf tee here. Right. And the hole for you is going to be the rain comes, the weeds are super blooming. I'm, I know. Okay, the hole's going to be there. What are you telling me? It's not being used. Oh, I know, I know. Well, you just used it. Um, so... I don't know whether it's worth hitting a ball launcher. That's going to get you there, right? And then the hyper round thing. If we can go... Like this. I don't even know this is a thing. Is this a, is this a thing? Okay, I'm just going to try that. I was say so pretty much exclusively all of those are, are going into the water. <laughs> But these seem to be doing what they're doing. They see these seem to be fun. 
most people it this doesn't seem to angle it towards the hole this seems to angle it from where they bounced it from right okay so this needs to move then let's put this instead here well hold on can we get rid of a bit of the water no we don't have the ability to affect the water okay So instead, let's put a ball launcher here. That should get people over there, right? Drones are out shooting the weeds. That's good. Okay, let's test that again. I love this. Not sure about this ball launcher. And a lot of lot of balls in the in the water. Two fail. Best score was four. Worst score was eleven. Okay, that seems to me to be a little too tricky. But we've got to get them over the water, right? Maybe if we have a mega wicket over here. Right, and a ball launcher here. And we delete that one. Okay, that seems like it could be better. There we go. So the big problem is here is there are a lot of people who are rubbish. No, pretty much that ball launcher is hitting every single one of those into the water. <laughs> okay, but ball launchers, ball launchers got to go. Ball launchers got to go. Let's. Uh... Yeah, a lot, a lot of fail that one. Okay, let's try again from there without the ball launcher. There's a festering weave hide there. Well, I don't own the land. This looks better. This looks better. We've got a few going into the water, but... You know. Best score 5. All of them completed. Best score 5, worst score 10. I'll, I'll take it. It's a tricky one, right? So. And also, we have no fairway or anything here at the moment, which will make a difference. Alright, so we'll take that down there. Right to the edge. Uh, green. And then we'll take all of these onto a fairway. Okay. Like so, and then we'll bring some little sort of sand traps here. Because what I'm thinking is that these these do seem to be able to punch these into sand traps a little, which is tricky, but you know, part of the part of the skill of the game, right? You want it challenging. Oh, we've got some silver memberships coming in there. That's cool. But then what I would like is some rocks, if I can. Um, some small rocks here. Hmm, too close to sea level. Okay, oh, that one's obviously too big. Hmm, that's a shame. I was hoping we could get some, I suppose it's just these small ones then, isn't it? How do we, how do we rotate them? There we go. Just to kind of help, so you, you've kind of got to get it over those rocks. That that might be, there you go. Oh, that's going to be tricky, isn't it? Let's, uh, let's get rid of that one. Okay, let's put that there. And let's have this bit of fairway come down into it. Okay. 
Okay, Sentra over here. Keep, keep you on the straight and narrow that way. Maybe even here to kind of make it so you kind of really want to go through this thing. And then we'll do some trees. Oh yeah, there's some bushes there. That's fun. Um, oh, they do actually change a little, those trees. That's good. Like different, different shapes of the same one. Okay. And then we'll just put a little bit of footpath here to sort of say, hey, you're all done. Come on home. Yeah? Okay, let's... Uh, oh, lights. Really forgot. Okay, there's our lights. And then we just need to kind of fill this area out a bit here with a path, maybe around the back of the green. That comes up to here. All right, I'm going for it. Open. High challenge with very high craziness and lighting and low beauty. So it's a pass of it. So this one was high challenge as well, right? Medium challenge and high challenge. So after the high challenge, we need to go down to like a nice, just like a nice casual. All right. So I'd be interested at this point is to see how they, uh, how they approach the ground here as well. Like, do they go back? I have, I have a feeling they would, they'd hit the shot. Oh no. That tree is probably a little bit intense, isn't it? Yeah, let's get rid of that. Oh no, water. Ain't going so well here, is it? Oh no. Do you know what? To be honest with you, that is not fair at all, is it really? Let's have a look at that. Can we flatten the terrain there a bit? There we go. That's a little fairer. What structure was removed there? Oh, a light, I think. Let's put a light back in over here, I think is where it was. And you got a nice big shot there down into the bumpers. Let's see how that goes. Oh, yes, nice. Oh, not quite hit on the bumpers. Come on. Oh, unlucky. Come on, Olivia. Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> Maybe that bumper has to go. Maybe that's it. And then they can hit onto there, right? Okay. And then they're going through there to get back round. That's what we want. Okay. Let's, uh, let's fill in this bit of fairway. Yes, onto the green Olivia. Well done. Okay. Charlie seems happy. Bryce, how are you getting on? Nice, Bryce. Okay, we're all on the green. How are they getting on here, look? Need to get it right to here, don't they, before they can really uh, make the most of it. Oh, but we're getting backed up a little bit here. Okay, so because of that, let's see about maybe sticking a bench in here. Maybe we stick a bench in here and we take a path. Let's take a path up to it. Yeah, there you go. You're waiting for your shot. You can head down there and zoom around. Let's see. Oh, we've got a bit of a backup here as well, look. So let's 
Let's, um, let's see if we can't get a couple of benches. How's that? And, uh, and, uh, and what are some snacks? And a garbage can over here. Keep yourself tidy. There you go. Spend some money while you're waiting. How's that? Long wait, is that what that's telling me? Yeah. This is a long hole. <laughs> what, are we okay with it? This gadget looks for you, eh? There's noisy construction nearby. Okay, it's too dark. Where is it too dark? That, do you know what? That is a fair point. That is very dark there, sir. I bet we light the whole area up. There we go. Okay. Whee! They're coming over here then for their next shot. There they go. I feel like we're doing all right. It's weird because you kind of have to... The, the golfer's mindset's a little different in this from most sim games, I think. We can, most golf games. I think in the, in the in, in one of them you want to try and create a challenge. Whereas here, they don't seem so focused on a challenge. But just a more sort of varied, interesting... Uh, sort of, you know, um, varied, interesting setup as opposed to a, a challenging setup necessarily. I don't know, what do people think? Overall, crazy gadget looks fun. I better avoid the water. Those weeds look ugly. Well, until I buy that plot of land, there's not much I can do about it. I suppose I could buy that plot of land because we're going to need it next and we can... Um, no, we can't. I can't, bu can't build it. How much do I need for that? Ten grand. Okay. So that's obviously going to be the next one. We need to get rid of this crazy weed thing going on. Uh, but otherwise, that's it. Yeah, we go. We go for fun. Maybe give you some ideas for wacky setups. You know, can you think of linking an archway onto something else? Or maybe we could try those fans next. Maybe like link a, like one to make a fan push it along or something. It'll be tricky to figure out, but, uh, but we'll give it a go. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Until the next one, be good.